Hello, my name is Jackie Fan. I'm here at Ten2 Showroom. I'm going to introduce you to Ten2 Air doing a demo using just the AirPods. So I'm going to show you how to prep the pods. Shake the pods a few times. Make sure it's well mixed. Open the black plug and slide in your AirPod to the Ten2 Air device. Blown presses to switch it on. Add a dial one. It's good for concealing. The second dial is good for foundation and blushes. Third dial is good for highlighter. I'm using AirPod Foundation and number six warm beige. Again, moving in circular motion. Get closer to conceal. And you want to be very gentle on the soft touch trigger. Continue covering the skin until you're happy with the coverage. You can get as close to the eye on, under eye area as possible if you like. Make sure that the air pressure is not too high so your client can feel comfortable. Almost everyone has a little bit of color description from neck to face. So it's always a good idea to kind of even the neck area out. Nothing touches the skin except for air and makeup, so it's a very clean way to apply makeup. I'm about to do below your nose, just so you know. I always like to tell my clients when I'm about to do below their nose, above their lips, so they expect it. I'm going to use Peony Pink on Jen. Uh, this is a beautiful blush. It looks really bright here in the pot, but it applies beautifully, and you can control the color payoff. Staying at the second setting. Moving circular motion again. When it comes to blush, you want to be slightly more careful when you're getting closer to the size of the nose. You don't want to get to on the sides. So aim your gun outward. Blame to get the color payoff that I want. And then, as a final touch, I'm using that same color on her lips. This makes a beautiful lip stain as well. You just apply it to the center of her lip. And later I would finish off with a lip liner or a lipstick. Now I'm going to do the champagne highlighter. This color looks great on literally any skin tone. I'm going to use it on the third setting. And apply it under the brow. Outer C section, top of the cheekbone, and the inner corner of her eye. Now I'm going to apply the Warm Glow Bronzer. Same way that I was applying uh, the highlighter on this third setting, on top of the forehead, towards the outer corner of the face very gently under the cheekbone to add that additional definition and under the jawline to give her a little bit more of a ch chisel bone structure anywhere the sun will hit the skin I'm going to use the same warm glow bronzer on Jen's eye as eyeshadow on the second setting. Close your eyes for me. This color is beautiful and it will add a subtle bit of a warmth and it complements any eye color. And just give you a little bit of definition, which is really pretty. After I'm done, I'm just gonna ask you to close your eyes, wait for it to set. So 
So, I'm using the brand new product, the Rue Concealer, to shape Jen's brow. It's kind of magical. <laughs> I'm going to use it on the first setting. This is the dark brown color. to add a little bit more color in the center of the brow. The new Tem2 Root Concealer is actually great for covering the roots uh, or make the hair look slightly fuller. So I'm applying to the parting line where most people have a little bit of scalp showing. This is especially great before a photo shoot to make the hair look a, a little bit fuller in pictures, especially if flashlight is involved. You can also subtly shape the face shape by applying around the uh, top of the forehead to make the face appear smaller or reshape someone's forehead. And voila! And here you have it. This is Tem2 Airs Makeover. From hair to eyebrow to face, complexion, blush, highlighter, and lips using just airbrush makeup. Hope you enjoyed the demo. Thank you for watching.